Hey guys, it's me Vanessa, just checking in with you here on day three. I don't really have too much more to say to you today um, beyond what I've written. Today and tomorrow are probably the two most important days. You've, you've learned the science in day one, you've learned a little bit more science in day two, what sugar does to our bodies, why we need to fight it. And today is the day that it's time to stop learning and it's time to start doing you need to figure out your why. You need to figure out why this is important. And when you're working through your why of why you're going to fight this addiction, because it's a fight, it's a battle, it's an all out war, you need weapons, you need strategy, you need a general, you need a team, you need like, this is war, right? Um, in order to make that much effort, Put aside your sugar addiction. You need a why. You need a, you need a reason. And what I always tell my challengers to do is to not take the first, the first reason that pops into your head, right? Most people, I, I ask them, why do you want to do a challenge group? Why do you want to do a fitness program? And they always say, oh, I want to lose X amount of pounds. I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 5 pounds. Um, that's not your why. That's what, that's your what. That's you, what you wanna have happen, right? That's not why. Why do you wanna lose 10 pounds? What about losing 10 pounds is gonna, is gonna make your life so great? Oh, well, if I lose 10 pounds, I can fit into this dress. Okay, You're getting somewhere. Why do you wanna fit into that dress? Well, I bought this dress for this certain occasion and wearing it to that occasion with confidence would just, would make me feel really great. It would make my confidence rise. It would, I, I, I've had a lot of rough things happen and I just, I need to feel good about something. Okay, we're getting even deeper, all right? So losing the weight, your why is actually your own self-confidence, your own value of yourself. You need to do this because your emotional health is really at stake along with your physical health. Okay, so I had to ask why three times to actually get to the real answer. And I could probably even ask why one more time to get even deeper, like, well, why do you need to feel so good about yourself? What's going on that you just, you need a win. You know, every once in a while we just, we need a win. Like we need to feel really good. Um, so don't take the first answer when you're looking for a why. Because that first answer, when those cravings come, when you get a headache because you haven't had sugar all day and you just want to throw in the towel, if you don't have a strong enough why, you're going to be with your hand in the cookie jar in two seconds flat. And I know it because I've done it. So you really need to ask three to four times, why? No, but why? No, but really, why? Why do you need that? Why do you want that? Why is that important to you? For me, it's my kids. Oh gosh. I want to be present. I want to be active. I want to be in their lives. I have two boys and a girl. Boys are, with, with my girl, I can sit, I can talk with her, we laugh, we have tea parties, we read books. Boys don't care about any of that. They want to run and be ninjas and they want to jump and they want to go to the park and, and I want to be there. I want to live up every moment because I know they are growing so fast and I don't want to miss it. This is my one life. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is it. This is all I've got. So that's a big part of my why. But not just being there for them, teaching them healthy habits. You know how our unhealthy habits, we didn't really intentionally learn them, but we just grew up eating sugary cereal every morning for breakfast. We just grew up having ice cream after dinner every single night. We just grew up with cookies and Twinkies and for lunch, right? We just grew up that way. So that's like our normal. Now we have to fight against that. I want my kids normal to be vegetables all the time. I want my kids normal to be that fruits are their candy. You know, like 
if I can give them that that's their baseline, then they don't have to work so hard when they're older. I mean, sure, sugar is always going to be there. You're always going to want it, but I have that power. Your frontal lobe is what controls the um, willpower and self-control, right, of your brain. So most of your brain is just habit. It just, you don't even think about it. You just do it. Like, I'm talking to you and I'm moving my hands. I'm not thinking about it. This is just habit. But if I'm like, okay, Vanessa, be professional. Don't move your hands. That's the frontal lobe. Your frontal lobe does not fully develop till you're 25 years old. So you better believe I'm going to be my kid's frontal lobe until they're old enough to make good decisions for themselves. I'm going to be that judgment-making, self-control, limiting force because I love them and they are going to thank me when they're older and they're not obese like I think almost half of the kids are and they're not struggling with diabetes as it's predicted half of Americans will in a few years. Like you have to be that for your kids but there's no way I can be that if I can't do it for myself. So that's my why. Find your why. Dig deep. Ask why four times. Figure it out. Do the work. And then once you have it, you have it. Write it down. Put it on the fridge. Put it on your mirror. Put it on the lock screen of your phone. Every time you turn that baby on, you see your why. You remember why you're doing it. And you get results and you conquer this thing.